Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Wage War's third single and that is called Tombstone. My opinions on the new on the first two singles have kind of changed a little bit. I mean maybe not with Magnetic. A lot of people will seem to be slagging it off thinking that it's too soft for them. It's not the Wage War they remember and I get that. I understand it but adding that song into that their discography I actually think is a really good like idea, good move. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Out of the two singles uh, they've released already. That one's my favourite. And moving on to Nail 5, it just didn't really hit with me when I first started listening to it. People kind of compared it to Manic, and I kind of see the similarities between Manic and Nail 5. The repetitiveness, the same vocal kind of like aspects, but Manic is just like such a better song. I almost feel like Nail 5 was like the demo, and then Manic was like that what they released, even though it was the other way around, Manic came out first and then Nail 5. I'm not saying it was a bad song, but people were asking Wage War to go in a certain direction. They did, and it just didn't really hit for me. So, still like the song, it just didn't really hit as much as I thought it would with me. Now, anyway, we're going on to the song Tombstone, which I have not listened to. I think it's been out for about two weeks now. I'm hoping it ticks all the right boxes that people want from Wage War, but in saying that, if this is the direction that they want to go in, then fucking do it. Everyone kind of matures, changes their sounds and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it might not really suit you, but it's where they're going. And hey, hey, you know what? Why am I still having my headphones on this? It might not even suit me. So let's get into the video now and see what Tombstone has to offer. Okay, sounds like a boat horn. We've got some light suspense. Okay. So far, it's building up to something. Let's hope it builds into something brutal. Loving them drums. My guitar in the background as well, just like, just teasing us. Okay. Well, this sounds like old wave war to be fair. Tombstone. That guitar riff, I like that. All these like... I don't know how I feel about all these kind of like added like sibs here and the, the electronics and the kind of glitchiness. It seems to be a new thing that a lot of like metalcore bands are kind of like incorporating now. Sounds a bit weird. It sounds like my laptop's about to blow up to be honest. I like the guitar riff. A little bit like brighter than normal. It's not just like your really heavy toned guitar yet. So far you've got your screams from uh, Britain. We haven't got any cleans yet and I like a clean. Don't get me wrong. I like a clean and I they usually work really well in contrasting with uh, Wage War songs. But so far it's already better than Now Fire for me. Ooh. Okay, that's the chorus. All right. It's not very catchy. It's chanty though. Oh, this is what I wanted. This bit here. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Will you make your move? I just stand there and play. We'll find out the truth. We'll find you to the rash. I like the different screams he's kind of brought into this as well, actually. He's usually quite just low. Oh, okay. All right, it's building up a little bit more, I think. I feel like the flow's got a little faster. Okay, what are we going to get here? I like them church bells in the, in the background. Oh, was not expecting this change up. Oh. No breakdown, but just like a complete transition to a uh, different guitar riff. Oh, I like that tone actually. I really like that tone. 
Oh yeah, that was uh, that was that was that was enjoyable. That was definitely a lot better than um, yeah, Nail Five. It hasn't got that catchiness or that hook that Magnetic has, but Magnetic wasn't as heavy at all. That's what we want Wage War songs to be. We want them to be heavy. So yeah, I think that does definitely tick all the boxes. I wouldn't say it is like a, a strong Wage War song when you think of all of their kind of previous like strong songs. It definitely like makes sense to be part of their kind of discography and their sound. I wouldn't say if I wanted to listen to like a, a really heavy brutal Wage War song, this wouldn't be like my go-to song to listen to. But um, no hate at all. I'm just like happy that there's like, you know, heavy elements are still there in this band. That's a good step in the right direction for, for me personally. I will definitely listen to that song again. Uh, and it's making me excited for whatever album or when they bring the album out that, you know, we're not gonna get like a completely different album to what we've had in the past. It's not got me like already presuming, oh, it's not gonna be as good because they're not like this or they're not like that. They still got the same sound. Might not be as good, <laughs> but let's give the album a chance. Um, and yeah, let's go from there. Let me know what you thought about this single. Let me know where it kind of ranks between the other two singles as well. Do you think that they've still lost something in their kind of like heavy songs? Or do, would you say this is like a, a typical wage war heavy song to listen to because you know we didn't actually have any claims in that at all it was actually just britain singing so uh, yeah let me know what you thought about this down below make sure you like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next video real soon thank you very much <gasps> goodbye it's not as got that it's look